So I want to talk to y'all today about friendship. First of all, all praise to the Almighty God, the great creator, y'all, first and foremost. Secondly, I hope everyone is well. I greet you with peace and love. This is Brother Jawanza Yisrael, also known as the Guardian of Truth. Catch my podcast called Spiritual War Room on Spotify. I, I've been thinking about this for a while. Because you always hear people talking about their friends. And a lot of times when you look at the landscape, not that you're trying to analyze it, but people emphasize that word so much. My friend, my friend, friendship, this person, my friend. And then you look at it and you really don't see the friendship. It's usually a one-sided thing or it's more of a companionship, associate type of relationship. A person that's just there for you to go somewhere and kick it with or something like that. But that's an associate. That's not a friend. A friend is somebody that's there for you in times of need that you could call on for help. That's with you through the good times and the bad times. If when you don't have any money, the person never come around or you don't have something to drink. or You know how these scenarios go with a lot of people. You know, if you sick, if you, you know, your money run low or you not balling no more or you stop working at that job, then you don't hear from the person who has that your friend. The, fr- the job determines your friendship. That was just somebody you knew from the job. That's not a friend because a friend is going to be there for you and you're going to be there for them. So stop calling people your friends. Who not really your friends. And it's not that hard to figure out. Because soon as something happens that's real. Like real real life stuff. Illness. Loss of job. Money get low. You need help moving. You need a place to crash. Stuff like that. That's when you see who your friends are. The person who come to your aid. That's your friend. The person who get ghost and you don't hear from them no more, that's not your friend. You might be their friend, but they not your friend. And what we do, we sell ourselves short. When we call these people our friends or we in these one-sided relationships, and that could be in a in a you know, romantic relationship as well. Like, it shouldn't be a one-sided thing. Like, it should go both ways. You there for them and they there for you. Ultimately, the friend you have the most is the most high. The friend that you have in God. Because that's who gonna walk with you and be there with you in your lowest points. A lot of times, people can't overstand or they don't want no parts of that. It don't make them feel good. It take a lot to love somebody through some trials and tribulations. It's easy to love somebody when ain't nothing on the line, when all you're doing is going to the restaurant, going to the club, going bowling. How hard is it to be somebody's friend to go bowling? Y'all going to kick it. But it's hard to be somebody's friend when they say, man, I got to get all my stuff out by 12 and I don't got no money for no movers. Will you come over here and help me? Then that's tough because it puts you out. You have to give of yourself service. That's what real love and friendship is about, service. How many people going to come to your aid when in? Just think about it. When you was down and someone right, who was around. That's how you know your friend. Get that person a hug. Call that person and let them know that you love them. And be there for that person. But the person who got ghosts, the person who you come to their events, but they don't show up to yours. You know what I mean? The person you only hear from 
when you got some money or when they need something from you. But other times you don't really hear from them, but you talking about, oh, that's my friend. That's not your friend, man. And a lot of us have that problem and can't recognize who is who. But I just want to put that on y'all mind, man. That's been on my mind for a while. People recognizing who really there for them in their life. Because if you sitting up talking about, man, I got 10 friends, you sadly mistaken. You don't got no 10 real friends. Now, you can have 10 people that care about you. You can have 10 people that care about your well-being. But that word friend is deep. The likelihood that you got 10 friends is so less than likely. You probably only got one to three. Tops. Because people will change up on you in a minute. And sometimes in friendship, you know, people outgrow each other. People only be in your life for a season or for a few seasons. Sometimes people change up and you got to let them go. Sometimes something bad will happen in somebody's life and it'll change how they were. It'll change their nature. That's happened to me before where one minute a person is acting one way through most of their life, some things start to happen, and then they're doing things that you like, man, I never thought this person would have did that, but you know, you got to let them go, like, because I'm not standing for that. You got to have principles and morals, certain things that you stand for and that you believe in. But I hope this message greets y'all well. I hope that it touches y'all hearts and y'all start to analyze that because that's an important thing because that's how many people get harmed, stabbed in the back, misled, a lot of hurt and pain because they can't differentiate between a friend and an associate or a friend and an enemy. Because some people are frenemies, as y'all would say. They mask as your friend, but really they hate your guts. The minute you're not around, they talking about you behind your back. Or they talking about how much they, they can't stand about you. Or they sitting with somebody else gossiping about your situation or using things that you tell them against you. Telling other people, yeah, you know, she having problems in her marriage. She having problems in her relationship. She fronting like this and she saying all this. But really, I know the scoop. I'm going to tell y'all, and you like, why are you telling my business to other people, things I told you in the privacy of our conversations, our bond, our friendship? If I wanted the world to know, then I would have addressed the world. That's not your place to be telling everybody. And you telling it in a way to try to embarrass me or something like that. These things happen every day. So I hope that y'all reflect on that, pray and meditate on that. Because I guess the one thing about my life, I don't got many friends at all. So I never really had that problem in a long time. I've had it before, but it's been a long time since I had that problem. Because I don't hang with too many. I keep my circle real small. Or the circle's just been made small for me by the creator anyway. So I don't have to di differentiate between that, because I don't got too many people trying to be there for me nowhere, or be my friend. And I guess that's a good and a bad thing, but at least I don't have to, you know, worry about, hey, getting bit by no snake in the grass, and I'm thinking, you know, that it's some other type of animal, it's a friend, but it's really a snake. I'll leave y'all in peace. This is Brother Jawanza. Yisrael signing off. Peace and love. May the Most High grant you favor, protection, peace.